6 a.m. right now. Early. It's cold, too. The thing is, when you look back on your life, you don't remember these days. You don't remember how cold it was. You don't remember a little bit of sleep you might have missed, like getting out of bed early. What you do remember is coming up second place, third place. I failed. It's 10 times more of a man than someone said, what if? Because what if never went to the arena? Second by second, you lose the opportunity to become the person you want to be. Or you got to stop making excuses and take charge of the fucking life. Because success doesn't know these things about cold or early or tired. It just knows if you showed up or not. This world is filled with people who's never achieved their true ability. Life is not about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning how to dance in the fucking rain. We know no one else is here. They're all holding their blanket for warmth. We're holding our dreams for war. What are you waiting for? You got one life to live. Why wait tomorrow to start? Wait to fuck now. When you do that, when everyone else is sleeping, it gives you an invincible edge, man. It's gonna be good, man. Not gonna be cold for long. Let's go get it on. Now, Greg Plitt was an extraordinary figure in the fitness realm. Widely recognized as a world star fitness model, his unparalleled success was evident through his appearances on over 250 magazine covers. An achievement that extended for an impressive six year stretch. Wow! Month after month, he consistently graced the covers, solidifying his position as a prominent figure in the industry. Men's Fitness Magazine honored him as one of the 25 fittest Americans, a testament to his exceptional physical prowess. Plitt's influence expanded beyond modeling, as he made notable appearances in multiple TV programs and shows dedicated to bodybuilding. His sculpted physique was nothing short of awe-inspiring. With his fucking chiseled abs and chest, this proportion of physique left an indelible impression on viewers, showcasing his dedication and discipline. Notably, Plitt secured sponsorships from prestigious brands like Metrix, Under Armour, and Gold's Gym, further solidifying his status as a fitness icon, so much so that he was consistently invited as a motivational speaker to everywhere from random schools in the middle of USA Texas to some fitness expo all the way in Istanbul. As an actor, he was the body of Dr. Manhattan from Watchmen. He appeared beside Sylvester Sloan and Robert De Niro in Grudge Match. As a ranger, he was in command of over 180 men. He was a three-time wrestling champion in his state. And as an entrepreneur, he was a self-made millionaire who ran multiple businesses. Now, this video would not exist if he was just a fitness model. Because on the top level of fitness, everyone's got a great body. No. What made Greg Plitt such a force to be reckoned with was not what was on the outside, but what was on the inside. It was his mindset. The driving force behind his remarkable achievements. Today, we embark on a journey to explore the inner workings of a champion's mind. Join me as we delve into the depths of his mentality, seeking wisdom and inspiration to unlock our own greatness. Get ready to discover the secrets that propel Greg Plitt to the pinnacle of success and learn how we too can harness the power of an unstoppable mindset. But before that, let's go back to where it all started. A baby is born in 1977 in Baltimore, Maryland to some amazing parents. Greg's love for fitness could be credited to his dad. Um, at an early age, in between grades and grade school, you have that summer reading list you have to do. Well, I was always outside playing ball. Reading wasn't a big love for me, so I kind of put it off, procrastinated a lot. I remember vividly my dad coming home one day, and he's like, how's that summer reading going? And I go, you know, it's not going so well. I'm too busy playing ball and stuff. He's like, no, you need to start focusing on the schoolwork more. I kind of told him I didn't really want to do that. So he goes, all right, here's your options. You can choose one or the other. You can either read for half an hour a day, or you can go out to the pool, swim 50 laps, do 100 push-ups and 100 sit-ups. Either one. But you you make a choice. So in defiance, I go, you know what? I think I'm going to hit the laps, do some push-ups, do some sit-ups. I started doing that for a week or two. Sure enough, my dad's like, all right, this isn't working. So he ups the ante. He makes it 200 laps or whatever the numbers are. So I'm out there for like an hour and a half as opposed to reading for half an hour. But by doing that, I noticed I was 
a little quicker when I was playing ball. I was a little stronger. I started seeing some results. Greg started his journey towards greatness as a skinny kid lacking confidence like the most of us. Why did I start working out, guys? I started working out because I didn't have any confidence in myself. I had no confidence. So I figured if I worked out and got big, my strength could fill the void of my lack of confidence. However, deep down, he knew. He was destined for more and pushed himself to pursue wrestling and embrace the weight room. It was during his competitive wrestling experience that Plitt realized the importance of developing not just his physical strength, but also his mental fortitude. You can't force your way through shit. When I was wrestling and everything else, yeah, I was stronger than most of the guys. But what really got me to be three time state champ and number two in the nation and stuff, and not point scored on me to the finals and nationals, wasn't because I forced the guy into you know the move. It's because I set him up and he did the move for me without even knowing it. I snap his head down as he comes up, I'm coming under, he's reacting. Dude, he just fuck, it looks like too easy. He understood that a strong and smart mind was the key to achieving success. Throughout his competitive experience, Greg discovered the beauty and the capabilities of a strong and smart mind. As an already accomplished three-time champion at wrestling, Greg faced a pivotal moment in his life when he started receiving scholarship offers from colleges. While the easy choice would have been to pursue a successful college wrestling career, everything changed when his sister decided to attend the US Naval Academy. Witnessing his sister's growth in character through the academy's challenging atmosphere inspired Plitt. In Greg's words, as a junior in high school, I was getting a lot of letters from colleges to wrestle for them, but what really caught my eye was my older sister's decision to attend US Naval Academy. I watched her grow in character through the challenging atmosphere of academic, military, and athletic requirements placed on her at the academy. I knew that at the end of a four-year journey through the US Naval Academy, I would walk away from it with an unbelievable amount of integrity and discipline. He chose to go one step further and attend the prestigious West Point Military Academy, far away from home. The decision meant for the first time in his life, Greg would be alone for the next four years of his life. His education in West Point took everything he had and then some. It pushed him so hard that at one point, he decided to gamble with his own life. I was failing miserably and I was just really down on myself. I didn't see the opportunities at West Point. I didn't see the challenges. I got absorbed by them and I was just failing and failing and failing. To the point, one day at practice for skydiving, um, when you jump out, there's two chutes. There's a reserve chute that's packed by a master rigger and then there's your main that you pack. So if you had a bad pack job and you could pull and it doesn't open up, well then you can deploy your reserve and you still hit, basically. There's a little computer thing called a Cypress. If you fall at a certain speed and you go through a certain ceiling, you know, it fires your reserve automatically. So I was in a state of, of uh, depression and, and denial and loss, you know, very lost. And so I jumped out, put my hands in the air, and I didn't pull anything. I go, let's see if this thing works. And if it doesn't work, I'm okay with it. And I fell, I looked it up my altimeter. I'm supposed to fire around a thousand feet. On the Cypress for your reserve. I played right through a thousand, maybe 700 feet. And I was like, and I didn't do anything. I just looked down and I said, no longer have any problems. Um, and then I felt this pull and it fired my reserve. But alas, after his four years at West Point, he graduated as a second lieutenant in the US Army. He served his country for five years both on foreign and domestic land, and he left the Army as a captain, airborne ranger, and a company commander in charge of 180 people. After his military service, Plitt's journey took an unexpected turn when he was scouted at a hotel, leading to his first cover on Muscle and Fitness magazine. I was in the military, I came back from overseas, and I was in this basically a hotel lobby bar. And I was just there getting drunk with a bunch of my buddies from Afghanistan and Korea and stuff like that. And this this, this crazy looking guy comes up, an agent, but he looks like real shady, you know, he's all like hunched over, he's sweating profusely, he's half bald. Um, and he comes up, he's like, hey man, you're here for this convention. And I go, man, whatever you're here for, I'm gu guaranteed I'm not here for that. <laughs> and, um, and he's like, well, he's, I'm like, he's like, well, you got good looks, you should come to my room and get some pictures. I go, what the fuck do you say? <laughs> I'm trying to hit on some girls and stuff, and this guy's totally cock blocking us. And I'm like, what are you doing? He gives us like, his, he gives me his card. I'm like, uh-huh, this, 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 get the fuck out of here. Anyway, so um, I'm doing the laundry and stuff. Like, I didn't go up to his room, by the way. Um, I'm doing the laundry like a week and a half ago later and stuff, and what, you know, this card fell out of my pocket. So I looked him up and everything else. And I gave him a call. I go, hey man, you met me a couple weeks ago. Um, 
you know, that offer still stands. So I went up to New York, and we did a test shoot, landed the cover of Muscle & Fitness that day. However, contrary to popular belief, his success was not easily obtained. Put worked tirelessly, overcoming numerous obstacles and continuously improving his physique. And everyone's like, wow, that's really good luck, man. And let me tell you something about luck. Luck is not that someone's gonna give you something you haven't deserved, something you haven't earned. Because I, every day I trained hard, an opportunity came to me. His relentless dedication and networking efforts resulted in a remarkable streak of being on the cover of at least one fitness magazine for six consecutive years. Despite not receiving any payment for these covers, he saw them as opportunities to build his brand and connect with others. This success eventually led Plitt to move to Los Angeles to pursue his next passion, acting. He starred in commercials and movies, with his most notable role being the body of Dr. Manhattan in the film Watchmen. Greg also invented the exercise machine known as the Metaball and continued to inspire millions as a fitness ambassador and a motivational speaker. Tragically, Greg Plitt's inspirational journey came to a sudden halt in 2015 when he was fairly struck by a train during the filming of a commercial. Despite his untimely passing, his legacy lives on as a symbol of hard work, dedication, sacrifice, integrity, and honesty. Join me as we dive into the mind of this extraordinary champion, uncovering the secrets that propel Greg Plitt to the pinnacle of success. Together, let's learn how to harness the power of an unstoppable mindset and discover our own potential for greatness.